Red Sox Aaron Judge named 16th captain in New York Yankee history Red Sox The question of whether or not Aaron Judge would be named the next captain of the New York Yankees has been answered. Judge, 30, agreed to stay in the Big Apple this offseason by inking a new nine-year, $360 million contract. The Yankees held a news conference Wednesday morning to celebrate the new deal but also to share a surprise announcement for their fans, the reigning AL MVP would be joining the illustrious group that includes Hall of Fame legends Derek Jeter, Thurman Munson, and Lou Gehrig. Judge recalled talking to Yankee owner Hal Steinbrenner on the phone during free agency about Munson and how the Yankee catcher impacted a young Steinbrenner growing up. We working some things out and, at the end of that conversation, he presented being the captain to me, Judge told a group of re. I was at a loss for words. I was taken aback. It's such an incredible honor. When you look at that list, it's hard to even find the words. It's just such an honor that I get to finish my career here with that title. When asked if not being a Yankee ever entered his mind over the last two months, Judge chuckled and said it was valuable to visit with clubs like the San Francisco Giants and San Diego Padres during the MLB offseason before. There's unfinished business here, and I look forward to finishing that business and leave that legacy of greatness for the next group of guys after me. Do the Yankees have a captain? Aaron Judge is the Yankees captain, and his first Yankee to hold the title since Derek Jeter retired, who have been the Yankee captains. Jeter and Judge are most recent but the list of Yankee captains goes back more than 100 years. Here are the 16 captain in New York Yankee history Clark Griffey, P. Kid Elberfeld, S.S. Willie Keeler, of Hal Chase, 1B Frank Chance, 1B Roger Pekinpa, S.S. Babe Ruth, of Everett Scott, S.S. Lou Gehrig, 1B Thurman Munson, catcher Greg Nettles, 3B Willie Randolph, 2B Ron Guidry, P. Don Mattingly, 1B D. But I came to the ultimate answer and that's that I had to finish my career in New York.